Good morning everyone, this is very really good to talk about for young minds. Today is 12, 2024. And our topic for today is Rosanna today. Our Bible text for today shall be seen in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 1 to 11. And our memory verse will be seen in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 9. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for today. Father, as we are going to see your word today, Father, teach us in Jesus' name. Give us the understanding of your word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our memory verse will be seen in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 9, which says, And the multitude that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Our Bible text today exposes us to how Jesus entered Jerusalem, how the people glorified his name, how they believed that it was Jesus that he saved them from their sins. Jesus' triumphant entry to Jerusalem was filled with both joy and sadness. As Jesus rode into the city on a donkey, the crowds greeted him with shouts of Hosanna, laying down palm branches as a sign of honor and praise. So the people cut palm branches to show Jesus' honor, to praise his name, to glorify his name. The people hailed Jesus as their Messiah and the promised king who will deliver them from oppression. They celebrated his arrival with great enthusiasm, believing that he would establish the kingdom and overthrow their Roman rulers. So the people hailed Jesus because they knew he was the promised Messiah that would come and save them from their sins. He will, they thought he would overthrow the Roman, the Roman governors. They thought he would take over the city. So they held him. They celebrated him. They, they, they did it with, they, they did it with, uh, with joy. However, amidst the jubilation, there looked a shadow of betrayal and misunderstanding. The same crowds that held Jesus as their king later turned against him. Their shout of Hosanna then turned to shouts of crucify him. So the same crowds that were, that were shouting Hosanna to the son of David, that welcomed, that welcomed Jesus with great, with, with great joy into Jerusalem, were the ones that later shouted, crucify him. They were the ones that later turned against Jesus, that later betrayed him. So, that later betrayed him. They were the ones that started shouting, crucify him. As a young man, you are called to welcome Jesus into your heart. Not just in moments of celebration, but also in times of trial and testing. So we must learn to welcome Jesus into our hearts, not just in moments of trials, in moments of temptations, not just in moments of celebration, but we should welcome him any time. We should welcome him every time. We must remain faithful to him, regardless of public opinion. So we should not mind what the public says. We should always remain faithful to God. We should stand firm that, yes, I am for Christ. Examine in your heart and motives today. Are you willing to follow Jesus all utterly? Are you prepared to acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior? That is the question for us today. That are we prepared to acknowledge Jesus today? Are we, are we willing to follow him all utterly? So we should not only follow him with our words, but also with our actions and attitudes. So in summary of what we did today, our topic for today tells us that Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem triumphant, triumphantly, and the people hailed him as their promised king. So we as young minds, we should always welcome Jesus into our hearts. We should we are always welcome him, welcome him. With any, in any situation we have, we should always welcome Jesus. In times of trial and testing, in times of temptations, we should always welcome Jesus into our hearts. We should not be like the people of Jerusalem. Scriptural truth. Always seeking to honor and glorify him in all we do. So we, are, we should always seek and honor and glorify God in everything that we do, in every situation we find ourselves. Prayer point. Lord Jesus, help me to welcome you into my heart and remain steadfast in my dedication to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for the grace of your word today. Let us have full knowledge of what we have learned today in Jesus' name. That we are going to our various destinations today. Father, don't let anything happen to us on the way in Jesus' name. Take control of today in Jesus' name. Father, everything that I have read, Father, make us understand them in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.